and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can create a button inside an accordion item in your Squarespace website. We're going to add an active link to an accordion item description, and then we're gonna use just a little bit of custom CSS to make that link look like a button, hover effects and all. Now, all the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but there are a couple of things that you'll need to know about these codes before you add them to your own website. So let's hop on into my demo site and I'll show you how this works. In this tutorial, I am using Squarespace version 7.1, but this will work for any version of Squarespace, even older sites built on 7. So if we hop into edit mode, I'd like to show you really quickly, double clicking on this accordion block that I've added here. In the very first item, I have an active link. All you need to do is type link text. This will be the text that's inside your button. Highlight that text and click this link option. I'll just link this to Google because that's easy to type. There we go. I'll select apply. And now that it's underlined here inside this description box, that's an active link inside the accordion description. Once you have that ready to rock, we'll be using this code to actually make it look like a button. So I'm going to copy this right out of my demo site. This is listed in the description below. Let's go ahead and select save. And we're going to navigate to design and scroll down to custom CSS. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on this accordion item to open it so we can see what happens to this button here or this link text, if you will, not a button yet. I'm gonna paste the code and now that link text looks like a button. It has a border, a background, and a little bit of padding to separate the border from the text. This last part of our code also gives it a hover effect, making it look even more like an interactive element on our site. So let's break this code down so you understand what parts you'll want to change. This first part right here creates that black border around it. If I can change the width of the border by adding it to 2px or even 5 if I want it to be super thick. And I can also change the color. I have the hex color code for a solid black here, but I can make that red if I want to. Maybe purple, totally up to you. After that, we have the background color. I've just typed out the web safe color name pink, but this can be any type of color, including a hex color code. Let's do my favorite shade of light blue there. There we go. This right here is the color of the text. Change this to whatever color you want the text to be. And last but not least, we have the padding. This is what separates the text from the edge of the border. If I remove this line of padding right here, you'll notice the border gets really close to the text. So I've added 0.5 REM. You can also add like 5px if you want to. Let's make that five instead of 0.5. Add whatever size value you want here. That'll increase the distance between the edge of the text and the actual edge of this button or the border that we've created. Now you'll notice when I hover over it here, the border actually changes a little bit because we adjusted this to 2px, but in this code right here for our hover effect, it's still one. So I can change that to two and we won't get that border change. Now it goes from purple to a solid black, which is this color right here. And then this changes the background color. Let's say we want to stick with that pink for the hover instead. I'll change background to pink and now we'll get that color on a hover. So one last time to recap, this will adjust the border. We have width, style, and color. This changes the background color of that active link. This changes the font color and this increases the distance between the text and the edge or the border that we've created. After that, we've created the hover effect. This is what's going to happen on a hover. We're going to have a border that is 2px solid and this color right here. And this is the background color that you're going to see on a hover. When you're all done customizing that to match the style of your own site, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, I'm sure you're excited to get started with this one and all the codes you need are listed in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel on YouTube because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.